Hey guys, hope you all have been well. Welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I'm going to do another wish list because we've got some shopping to do. I've been doing some shopping for some clothes and now it's time for makeup. There are certain things that I'm pretty confident that I'm going to get and others I'm still trying to think through. With that comes a whole lot of window shopping and just adding to cart without clicking the place order. So. Let's go through a long list of items that I've been keeping track of. I just wanted to share them with you. If you guys have experience with them, let me know before I do, I do the deed. We're going to get started with eyeshadows. Starting off with cream shadows, I'm interested in picking up another one or two maybe cream shadows. I have one from Chanel that I've kept, still love it. And they're just easy and the way that they blend, stay on the eyes. I have been a fan of cream shadows, but it's always about the color selection and the wear that gets to me. So I've been hearing quite a bit about the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize, I think is what they're called, as well as the Hourglass Scattered scattered something, scatter lights. I know that there are two shades from Charlotte Tilbury that I'm interested in and one or two from Hourglass. So we'll see what we do there. But I'm, pr I'm pretty sure, I'm confident that I will be picking up some cream shadows. This is another product that I'm pretty confident about and that's getting that Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk palette, the bigger one. And I've been wanting to try Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadows, but it's just always, it's always something else that I choose over it. So I'm going to bite the bullet and I'm going to try out these Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadows just, just to try them out. I did mention previously that I'm having a hard time reasoning with myself on the worth of a Tom Ford quad, but I recently saw that he came out with these two that I don't own and I'm like, gah, I want it. Let's revisit the conversation we had. I don't think they're worth $88, but that doesn't mean that I don't want to own them. So the two that I'm interested in is the Della Creme. Della Creme kind of gives me cognac sable feels, just like more toned down. Let me know if you have it and if that's right. But I kind of get like cognac sable vibes, which is uh, discontinued. And the Sue, Sue Le Sable, he has a lot of palettes that are kind of around the same color family, but it's so, it's so pretty. And today I do have my Tom Ford Cognac Sable um, eyeshadow quad on. And as I was putting it on and trying to reason with myself, like this is why I want them because of the quality. It's just Tom Ford, if you get the right quads, it hits in a certain way, at least for me. And I'm, and I'm sure that, you know, people that do like luxury eyeshadows or luxury products in general will understand that that when it hits right, it's so good. So I am tempted. But I would go with the Charlotte Tilbury one first, A, because it's less expensive, and B, because I haven't tried it before. Pat McGrath. I know that this is going to be war, okay? I know people are going to just like, oh, they're just going to scratch each other to try and get their hands on this palette. But if given the opportunity, I think now, now that I've had some money saved up specifically to spend on like makeup items that I want, I would, I would spend the money for this palette because I actually really enjoy the color story. And this is the Mothership 8, if I didn't mention that. And that's the Divine Rose 2. This is the prettiest color story I feel that Pat McGrath has come out with. I don't know if this is going to be limited edition. I hope not because of just how... I think this is going to be a big one. Eventually, I'm, I'm hoping to get it. I really do want to try it and, you know, be able to do a review on it. But with Sephora not shipping to me and not wanting to rely on my family to have to go to the post office to send it to me, I'm going to hold off, but it is in the back of my mind. The ABH Norvina palette. This has been forever on my list and I always go back and forth. I, I feel so bad for it because it has made many trips in and out of a cart. I don't think I'm going to 
get it. I think I want to try the Charlotte Tilbury one because I've had experience with ABH palettes before, but it's still it's still there. I really want to try those shimmers. I really do. Lastly, I want to try and buy a ColourPop pre-made palette. Every ColourPop product that I've owned, I picked myself. I've never bought a pre-made palette where they choose the colors and I'm going to decide what to do with them. So I'm, I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to do it. I'm going to bite the bullet, whether that's going to be in the form of nine pans or they're like 12 or 15 pan, the normal traditional palettes. But I'm also really interested in the Bare Necessities. I feel like that's such, it's such a beautiful palette. I think if anything, that would be the ultimate palette for me to purchase. But A, it's out of stock. And B, it's just, it's massive. And I don't want a massive palette. I really, really don't. Now moving on to blushes. <laughs> Blushes is going to be, it's going to be the hardest one for me because I'm getting the most pull to purchase, but I really don't need them. Like I, I have so many blushes, but for some reason there's like, it's a strong urge to want to own more. Let's start off with Clinique. I think I'm going to bite the bullet on this one and try a cheek pop. I just am. There's so many shades that I want. But I, I'm, I think I'm going to start with one. Maybe two, I don't know, but definitely one. So some of the shades that I'm interested in, Ginger, probably going to be the shade I get because I think out of all of them, it's, it's the most. The angles changed up a little bit. I had to go outside for a second. But going back to the Cheek Pops, Ginger's, it's probably on the top of the list. But I am also really interested in Heather. Peach. Oh, I do want peach, but I'm scared it looks too much like gingerly. Ginger, not gingerly. That's a MAC blush. Fig and melon, but definitely gonna try out. I, I've decided. That's been decided now. Chanel blushes I have had on my, my list for years. It, it's in my, um, I forget what it's called in, on Macy's. Basically your wish list. And I've had this, this one particular shade for the longest time. And that is in Rose Bronze. Since the beginning of time, I've wanted this Chanel blush. But I, I'm not the biggest fan of Mineralize, so that's why it, it's, it's so hard for me. I'm not saying that it's similar to MAC because obviously it's not the same brand, but Mineralize is just, it's not my favorite formula. And that's why I've always held off on it, but still, it's, it's here. I really want to hear people's opinion on this next one. I think Beautylish is able to ship to me. So they have the Cover FX monochromatic blushes and I have spoken about wanting to try those blushes before. I just, I don't know if, if I want it as bad as I want the Cheek Pop blushes. But there are two shades that I'm interested in. The first one in, in Soft Peach and the other one in Warm Honey. You guys get an idea of the type of blushes I like. I like collecting pretty much the same colors like I like to collect the same eyeshadow colors. It's, it's a thing. And lip colors and style of lashes and types of blending brushes I have. When I find something I like, I stick to it, but I also want like a thousand more of them. Bronzers. Of course I want bronzers. Will I ever finish my bronzers now? No, but I, I still want to try some. I do. I really want to try the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzers just to try them. They are so raved about and I kind of miss having a drugstore or affordable option in my collection. So. If I decide to go back to Ulta and try it out, then I will get the butter bronzer. I did look on the website. I didn't know it was 16 bucks. Why so expensive? And I hear the packaging sucks. So what's wrong? But yeah, I, I just, that's one of the, the items that I just want to try for myself. I, why I'm talking with my hands, I'm sorry. I don't know. I'm just, this is me. I talk with my hands. 
bronze. I've also been hearing a lot about the Marc Jacobs Omega bronzer, that huge compact. I have watched many of bronzer collections and people that do have it in there, they speak highly of it. Um, I can't get that because all the places that sell Marc Jacobs online aren't selling their makeup items, it's just their, you know, fragrances. So maybe, maybe it might be something I look into, but I don't know. I, it's not strong. It's the, the urge is not strong. Highlighter. Let's start off with a negative. I had gone to the Bobbi Brown website and I was excited because I heard that's where you can buy the new, um, I don't know if it's summer or spring summer collection. And that's where you're going to find warm glow. Guess what? It sold out. My heart. If someone knows whether this collection is going to come out on Macy's or Nordstrom, please let me know. I want this highlighter. And if I can find it, I will get it. But from the original collection, I still want Moon Glow. It's a yellowish gold and um, I think it's most similar to Moonstone from Becca. I just find Becca Shimmering Skin Perfectors to be too strong for my textured skin. So I've always thought that Moon Glow was the closest thing. MAC Whisper of Guilt. I need to try this highlighter. Whether or not it will be in this haul, this new purchase of items, makeup products to add to the collection, I don't know. But I have a strong feeling eventually I will own it. Moving on to lips. This is the smallest category and they're from the same brand. I want to own these two Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. The first one is Hepburn Honey. This isn't their traditional like matte revolution line. I think that's what they're called. It's just their regular lipsticks. I love this shade. It looks so beautiful. I've seen swatches of them and I really, really want it. I currently do have it in a cart. Don't know if it's gonna make it because I really should not be buying lip stuff, but it's it's the top of the lipstick list. Secondly, I want to try the Pillow Talk lipstick. I've heard so much mumbo jumbo about this lipstick and it's beautiful, but I will not lie to you and say that it's something I really wanna try because I want to, but it's more so, I just wanna know what the hype is about. Why does Charlotte Tilbury have so much Pillow Talk stuff? So I'm gonna try the palette and I would like to try the lipstick. Just something to add in, I really do want to buy brushes but I have to fight myself. I have to fight myself on this because I have so many brushes. I have more brushes than one person could ever need. One singular person. That's me. And I barely put on makeup when I'm out. This YouTube is the most makeup I use, okay? Point blank period truth, honesty, all of that good stuff. So I have enough brushes, I really do. But there are certain ones that I still wanna try. I still wanna try Wayne Goss's eye brushes. I wanna try Smith brushes. I wanna try Ruffer brushes. I wanna try Sonia G brushes. I want more Hakuhodo brushes. It's, I don't know, and I'm, I'm looking at Sigma. I'm looking at Morphe, even though I have a bunch of Morphe stuff already. I just love shopping or window shopping for brushes. I think more than anything, I have the most enjoyment putting uh, brushes in a cart. Weird. I know. But still, I'm not going to I'm not going to buy brushes. I'm not going to do it. But that doesn't mean I don't want to. I have so many brushes and so many that I need to wash. Oh. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for joining me in this video. I really do hope you enjoy it. And again, if you tried any of these products, want to give me some advice on them, please leave them in the comments down below. Before I do something, I regret. It's highly likely that I'm still going to do it, but here we go. If you guys like this makeup look, go ahead and check me out on Instagram. First link in the description box down below where I will post a photo of this makeup look along with all the products in the caption. Till the next video, I hope you all are doing well and taking great care of yourselves. I will see you all next time. Bye guys.
Oh my goodness, I am so sore just lifting my arms up like this. They hurt. It's been uh, two days since I went back to the gym in two months. It's been rough. I am sore from head to toe, okay? My fake eyelashes are hurting. That's how bad it is. Oh God. And now I gotta do laundry. Great, wonderful. Just get away from me.